see a product vision which is much, much larger than the services uh, industry as a whole, right? So this is what I said. Um, I, I told at that time, I'm probably saying this again, it, the magic number is like 60, 66. You know, what is this 66? Although the SaaS multiples have actually come down, but I've taken 15, 15 times multiple, if you have to do a trillion dollar in value creation, See, it, it's, it's funny we are talking about value so much, but all, all startups are supposed to create value, <laughs> right? It is like, uh, it's like saying, um, adding an extra adjective, which is should not be required. Any startup, if it is not creating value for the society at large, it doesn't, it, it ceases to exist. So fundamentally, every startup is supposed to add value. So. If you divide uh, uh, trillion dollars with 15, you ba basically get a uh, 66. So basically, we require 66 billion dollar companies in India to make a trillion dollar uh, value creation in the country. And India has 30 states. All we need is like two, 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 <laughs> two billion dollar companies in each state. That's that's all you break it. Break it. If you break it down, the problem to very simple numbers, it doesn't look very daunting. Uh, so yeah, so that is how uh, this number stacks up. But, but interestingly, there is no magic formula to get to 66. Like if somebody comes and tells you, here is a magic formula to get to a billion dollar company, I don't think any of you is, is going to believe it and you should never believe it. it. There is no such formula available. So the only way to get to it is to build a bottom up pyramid. And that's why I really love what Upeka is doing and that's one of the reasons why we started SaaS Bhumi itself because SaaS Bhumi, the idea is to believe in this bottom. I used to tell uh, Avinash and Girish and everybody, hey, let's even forget about it, the yellows and the blues. Let's work on the red because if we can create, a, I, how many of you know we have 100,000 IT services companies in India? We really have 100,000 and that is what makes the IT services industry actually, right? So we really need a hundred thousand, a million dollar companies if you really need to overtake the IT services, uh, you know, uh, value. And out of this hundred thousand companies, some of them will bubble automatically to become ten million dollar companies, and some of them will go on to become the billion dollar companies, right? So, and that is the formula. There is no other shortcut. So the the effort that we need to really put in is not at the top, it's really at the bottom. And if you do this really well, the top will automatically happen as a byproduct. That's, that's, the, that's the larger thing that I wanted to impress upon you guys. So now, if this is the vision, can India really become the global SaaS? Actually, one of the things I really like about the trillion dollar SaaS vision is I'm always boxed as this Tamil Nadu guy. Now I'm talking about India story. It sort of neutralizes my branding as well. <laughs> so, right, uh, if you guys are following me on social, so I talk a lot about uh, Tamil Nadu stuff. So, people think like I'm so polarized towards Tamil Nadu. It's not really. Uh, but if you really, uh, I think this number is more or less accurate. The overall IT industry is making $27 billion. Okay. So, I, I have to tell you, when I first did this in 2019, in uh, NASCOM, they ignored me. And then when I presented in 2019 in SAS Bhumi, this is supposed to be SAS crowd, right? And then I uh, presented and came down, and Manav and Girish were saying, Suresh, it's okay, but trillion dollar, kuncha overall. <laughs> so, meaning, he say, is it like, it's like little too much, right? So even within our own inner circle, uh, it was like too, too much to imagine that vision. Huh? Too audacious. Too audacious, right? So that's, that's what it was. But then in 2020, we commissioned a report, which is SAS booming McKinsey report, which officially declared, yes, 2030, it is potentially possible to get the uh, trillion dollar value creation by SAS. And this is, this is the data from McKinsey in 2020, it was baselined. Okay, and McKinsey baseline, and of course, uh, SAS Bhumi was uh, commissioned that report and assessment. In 2020, 2.6 billion dollars were already made in SaaS. 
2.6 billion dollars already made in SAS. And these are the other numbers. It basically was projecting that it is growing at 40, India is actually growing at, India SAS is growing at 40 to 50 percent year on year growth. And after some initial scale, it will drop down to 20 to 30 percent, right? So the first five years, it will be like 40 to 50 percent. Essentially, the value creation stack, this will, essentially they didn't say it will be one trillion dollar, it will be anywhere between, between 500 billion to a trillion dollar. But then, if you, take a, if you take a dipstick check and see where we are, we are already at 6.5 billion dollar SaaS revenue in 2022, in two years. Just go back, we are supposed to hit 15 to 21 uh, by only 2025. By the end of 2022, we are already in 6.5 billion dollars. Although it is a minuscule uh, value when compared to the overall 27 billion dollars we are doing as an industry, IT industry. But the real thing is the value creation multiple with respect to SaaS is phenomenal. Because the rest of this orange gap, uh, orange uh, donut uh, pie, it only do 2 to 3x multiple. But the blue one will easily do 10 to 15x multiple. See, if you do the rule of 40 correctly, if you do the sales efficiency correctly, if you do the burn multiple correctly, even in this bear market, you can still do 15x, 10 to 15x. You can still do 10 to 15x multiple in the bear market. See, some of the valuation um, scary things are happening in the market because the valuations are 30 times multiple, 40 times multiple. And when they say it's like 50% it is crashed or 60% is crashed, what has come to reality? That was too, too, too much, uh, too high, too high, too much hype, right? So it's really not that crashed. If you really ask me, the, the valuation and the value for SaaS in a reasonable, if you build a really good company, you can still do 10 to 15 X. It's not a, it's not a problem. So if you have to really build a, a global SaaS hub in India, it is not just we need concentration in one area, but we need also diversified portfolio. But this also proves that if you really look at it, we have SaaS companies in India, in CRM, in ERM, in collaboration and productivity. This is again from the McKinsey report. This is not my data, okay? And uh, we are in application infrastructure, we are in healthcare, we are in retail, we are CPG, in banking. In across all areas, there are SaaS companies that are being built in India. 